Okay, let's try that again. Woo! We could very easily make a solid case if it was self-defense, but... The defense stands by the plea of not guilty, Your Honor. Because to plead justified self-defense is to say you did kill someone. How foolish. If that's how you want to play it, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I shall now call the first witness. She's just as scary as her father. Like father, like daughter, I suppose. Oh boy. Witness, your name and occupation? Yes, sir. My name's Dick Gumshoe. I'm a detective at the local precinct. Oh! Get to the point already. Explain to the court the details of this murder. Yes, sir. Uh, if everyone would please look at this map. The channeling chamber has no windows, and the door was locked shut. At the time of the murder, only the victim and the defendant were in the room. What were they? What were they doing in there? Um, they uh, they were channeling a spirit, sir. Ch channeling a spirit. The look of disbelief on the judge's face is. <clears throat> anyway, uh, a few minutes after the channeling started. Gunshots were heard coming from inside the room, sir. A few of the witnesses broke the door down and rushed into the room. Oh, and that's when they found that the victim was already dead, correct? Hmm, I believe this is one of the most open and shut cases I've ever presided over. Floor plans added to the court record. So, how was the victim killed? I was about to get to that. Stop wasting my time, then. The direct cause of death was a pistol shot to the forehead, sir. The shot was fired from point-blank range. But before the victim was shot, sir, he was stabbed in the chest. The wound was very severe, but not enough to cause instantaneous death. The murderer used the pistol to finish the victim off after the stabbing. Hmm. So the victim was stabbed before being shot? That's not very holly jolly. This is the victim's autopsy report, sir. Alright. The court accepts it into evidence. Mr. Wright, you may question the witness. Alright. The direct cause of death was a pistol shot to the forehead. Alright, let's suppress everything. The murder weapon, Detective Gumshoe. Whose pistol was it? It was the victim's. The victim? Now why would he have... Why would he have a pistol? Who cares? The point is that you're missing is whose fingerprints are on that pistol. If you're not already paying attention to that, then I suggest you start. Fingerprints? There were fingerprints? Along with the victims, the defendant, Maya Face, were also on the grip, sir. Woo! Rubble, rubble, rubble. Double shot. Hmm. So the defendant's fingerprints were left on the murder weapon. Hmm, I walked right into her hands there. The shot was fired from point blank range. Point blank, huh? So how far away was it? It was anywhere between 12 to 20 inches away. And how do you know he was shot at point blank? Tisk, 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 Mr. Phoenix, right? I grow tired of the foolish foolery of the foolish fools of this foolish country. I excuse me? Gunpowder burn. Gunpowder burn? When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. Gunpowder exploding is what makes a bullet fire, and that gets real hot, pal. And there were definitely some gunpowder burns left on the victim's forehead. Wow, never knew that. Live and learn, I guess. I guess he doesn't watch CSI. <laughs> well, before the victim was shot, sir, he was stabbed in the chest. Stabbed? And what was he stabbed with? A fruit knife. I see. And whose knife was it? It looks like it belongs to the face, sir. And of course, my face fingerprints are all over it. Hmm, all over it, huh? This is not look good. <laughs> what will you do now, Mr. Phoenix Wright? 
The wound was very severe, but not enough to cause instantaneous death. How severe was the wound? If it had been half an inch more to the right, it would have hit the victim's heart. After a stab like that, it's impossible to fight back, let alone stand. His testimony makes Maya look like she had stabbed him with the intent to kill. The murderer used the pistol to finish the victim off after the stabbing. Are you sure he was stabbed first, then shot? Yup, sure as sure can be. Well, look at the wounds and you come to the same conclusion too, pal. A fool is a fool who will only listen to the foolish opinions of other foolish fools. A pistol shot to the forehead at point blank is certainly enough to kill instantly. Does it matter then which was first? Think a little more before you open that big mouth of yours, Phoenix Wright. What a pain. That's enough. We've clearly established how the victim was murdered. I brought the two murder weapons with me today. Very well. The court accepts them in evidence. Alright. The date and time of death was June 19th at 3.15 p.m. Eyewitnesses claim to have heard two gunshots at this time. And the two murder weapons, both with the defendant's fingerprints on them? Hmm, this does not seem like an open and sh this does seem like an open and shut case. Naturally. This is going from bad to worse. As if the summary just now wasn't oversimplifying things to the extreme. Your Honor, feel free to slam that little gavel of yours. After all, there's no room left for doubt, is there? That is quite true, Mr. Wright. Y yes Even in the face of all this, you still wish to plead not guilty? It's the opinion of this court that if you do not adjust your plea, you stand to lose. See, just as I promised, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You would change your plea in less than ten minutes. What will you do, Mr. Wright? Will you change to justified self-defense? Because now would be the time to do so. This is your final chance. This is a huge decision. I better think this through all the way. Fuck that living fucking bullshit. Mia told me not guilty, it's not fucking guilty. Ah. Ah. If we plead justified self-defense, we'd basically be confessing to a murder. After the trial, Maya's life would be destroyed and she'd be labeled a murderer. I can't let that happen. Your Honor. Have you reached a conclusion, Mr. Wright? The defense will not change its plea. We will accept nothing short of complete acquittal. Ha ha! Oh! You bitch. You. You have sealed your fate, Mr. Phoenix, right? Detective! Uh, yes, sir? Present the final portion of your testimony. The final strike. Um, uh, yes, sir. N now, see here. Proceedings are run by... Oh! Oh, yes, of course. Uh, go ahead, detective, and give your testimony. I think the court would like to hear about the other piece of incriminating evidence. Oh, boy. Sorry, pal, but there's an even more incriminating piece of evidence. This is the costume the defendant was wearing at the time of the crime. As you can see, it's covered in blood. The defendant attacked and killed... Oh, I forgot the voice. The defendant attacked and killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. So this is the costume. There certainly is evidence of a back spray of blood on this. This piece directly links my fate to the crime, sir. I see. The court accepts this into evidence. All right. All right, Mr. Wright. I have fingerprints on both murder weapons and blood splatters on her clothes. Could this situation get any worse? Ha, what's wrong? You seem to be at a loss. I think this is the last piece of testimony the prosecution would have to offer. Feel free to soak off with your tail between your legs, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Please stop calling me by my full name. It's disturbing. <laughs>